The Shedd Aquarium in Chicago, Illinois is one of the largest indoor aquariums in the world, drawing 2 million visitors a year to their amazing collection of over 32,000 aquatic creatures. Join us on a virtual tour as we take you floor to floor to check out penguins, jellyfish, sea otters, dolphins, sharks, exotic fish, reptiles, and more. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. Where we make videos about epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventures. This is part of our America's Grandest Canyons Road Trip series, where we traveled cross country to explore the Grand Canyon, Bryce Canyon, Glen Canyon, Palo Duro Canyon, and more. Stay tuned for more videos in our evolving trip playlist. Located on the Field Museum campus in Chicago, Illinois, alongside Lake Michigan, the Shedd Aquarium is a great way to spend the day, rain or shine, with or without kids. You'll know you're near the entrance when you see the Man with Fish sculpture. Yes, it's called Man with Fish. Once you're inside, you'll be on the main level, and that's where we're going to start. First up, the river section. These bala and red tail sharks are actually minnows. And this is a giant gourami. These are scatty and are native to rivers in Africa and Australia. Usually found in big and murky rivers in America, these are paddlefish. Lungfish dwell at river bottoms and their camouflage makes them look like logs. These are assorted red rainbow fish and bozeman rainbow fish. The Jerry's violent line piranha are found in rivers in Brazil. These clown loaches, gourami, black line resbora, clown featherback, and tiger perch are found through various countries throughout Asia. This is the mountain horn lizard from Asia. And this is the Chinese crocodile lizard. Next is islands and lakes. Cichlids are tiny fish that live in freshwaters around the world. Of the 2,000 species, half live in lakes in Africa and can be found nowhere else. Because of lack of competition from other fish species, African cichlids vary in appearance and behavior. These are cichlids from Lake Malawi. These cichlids are from Lake Victoria. Midas cichlids can be found in Central America. This is, well, an American alligator. These are some Sabwa barb and pearl gourami also found in Asia. Here are more assorted gouramis and barbs. And here are more assorted cichlid from Central America. Facing extinction, these western pond turtles are being saved and reintroduced into the environment by many aquariums and zoos. This is an alligator snapping turtle. Now onto the Great Lakes. These are lake whitefish.
This is a largemouth bass. These are various carp and buffalo fish. This tank here is a mix of gar, bass, and catfish. This is an exhibit where you can touch lake sturgeon. It has leathery skin. Super fun for kids and adults. Next up, the oceans. This is the Southern Blue Devil. And this is a mix of copper band butterfly fish and the famous clownfish among starburst coral. These are seahorses. Hailing from the Pacific Ocean, this is a giant deep sea isopod and some spotted ratfish. Here is a Tasmanian king crab. These are leopard sharks. This is a Pacific sand dab. Now on to Amazon Rising. These are white-faced whistling duck. And below them are a tiger ray and various tetra and catfish. This is a Brazilian teal. And below them are more catfish, big tooth river stingray, and a yellow spotted turtle. This Cayman lizard is just chilling on this branch. These are Colombian tetras. Here are some river turtles. This is the Caribbean Reef. The Caribbean Reef is a circular enclosure in the middle of the main level. Here you can see some bonnet head sharks and queen angelfish, among others. There are also cow nose rays. Here are some electric jellyfish. Next is the Wild Reef. The Wild Reef is accessible by elevator from the main floor only. Here you can check out some various fish as well as finger leather coral and scroll coral. Coral, by the way, is an animal, not a plant. Here are some raccoon butterfly fish and coal tang, among others.
this yellowfish? Anyone know the name? Leave it in the comments. These pleasant looking fish are engineer gobies. Bacteria makes these flashlight fish eyes blink. This tank is very popular because of the sharks. Magellan might be staring down these sharks, but would he if there was no glass protecting him? These male wrasses have flashy colors amongst the coral to attract females. From here, we're leaving the main level and heading down to the top floor of the Oceanarium. This is a beluga whale swimming below the surface of the water. This sea lion is chilling out. The Abbott Oceanarium where they do dolphin shows. We happened to show up for one of their feedings, which was super cool to watch. If you have a pet, you can definitely spot the dolphin version of begging at the dinner table. Next up, bottom floor oceanarium. Here is the sea otter section. Oh, look at him. He's like a Zeus in the water. He's a deplorable. I want one. <laughs> I want one. I want to be one. Look at, they look like they have a Look at him. He just put like, he can build a pool in the backyard and he could just live in it. God. These are starfish and you are allowed to touch them. This is the water underneath the Abbott Oceanarium above. Here you can check out the Pacific Whiteside Dolphins doing their laps. These are rock hopper and Magellanic penguins. Magellan, are these your spirit animals? No, but he sure knows how to bust a grumpy. These are some anemone displays. Lastly, on to underwater beauty. This is a yellow tang fish. Here is a purple sea urchin. Check out this beautiful weedy sea dragon. Here are some spotted and lagoon jellyfish, the most efficient swimmers in the animal kingdom.
If you're in the Chicago area, we definitely recommend a trip to this massive aquarium. Some exhibits change, and there's plenty more to see, but this is what we did with a few hours of our time. It was a memorable and relaxing end to our massive road trip. For more Chicago travel ideas, check out our Top 25 Things to Do in Chicago video or our Illinois playlist. We'll see you on the trails or in the water. Or in this case, surrounded by the water.